Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty emotional this morning. Um, if you didn't hear, a uh, 10th victim, 9-year-old boy who was in a coma has now died due to the events of Astroworld. And I got a 9-year-old. I got a 9-year-old who loves music I hate. <laughs> loves Little Nas X. And... I know a lot of us, why are these kids at the show? Why are these kids at the show? That's not that's not what we should be saying right now because parents do what the kids want and sometimes the kids want to do things we don't know a lot about, we don't know a lot about, or we don't even fully understand what these, what, what these festivals. We, we go into these festivals because they're all ages, assuming that, you know, everything's going to be okay. We, we assume that society would never stampede over children it's just unfathomable to think that's even possible i don't know how this happened i don't know why this happened it breaks my heart that it's happened and you can do something you can go to gofundme I, I, there's there's nothing you can do for this family and there's going to be a lot of people who are going to critique this family, but you can go to GoFundMe. I'm going to put the link. There's a lot of verified people who are at this tragedy, and you can specifically go uh, help the family, Ezra's family here. His father, Treston, um, has a fund GoFundMe set up that is verified, but that's not going to help either, guys. What's going to help is actually trying to create change, is going to actually try to help make sure this never happens again. And uh, when I see this, that the Travis Scott legal and spokes team is out there that he could have, st the claims that he could have stopped this are ludicrous. I'm sorry. I get really mad and sad because just because he's an idiot, Travis Scott, just because he's an insecure egomaniac, super rich, famous, just completely away from society idiot doesn't mean we've we haven't seen that so many examples of proper performers and rock stars taking this the moment to stop a show to calm down a crowd to say hey 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on stop the music stop the music to see him and his team his spokesman this is these people are speaking for you Travis Scott while this while we're seeing stuff like this happen you're out there playing defensive that it's ludicrous that you could have stopped the show. Excuse me? Excuse me? I mean, this makes me so angry that this is what's going to happen. This is the defense. Look, this there needs to be a trial. What did he know? We need to do a, a proper investigation. Oh, did he know? Because if he knew, he's responsible. Simple as that. I don't care if you're a fan of his music or not. If he knew what was going on and he chose to continue the show, Dude's, dude deserves all the worst in the world. Now, did he know? Did he know? I find it hard to believe that he didn't know. I find it very hard to believe. And as they, as the lawyer and the spokesmen are out there, out there, uh, here, here's, here's Travis's spokesman, former Baltimore mayor, politician, Stephanie Bl Rawlings Blake. There's no way he could have put a stop to anything. They have a 59 page operations plan. And it clearly says the only two people that have the authority to stop the concert or the executive producer and the concert producer. He was not responsible for this, but he wants to be responsible for the solution. There was such a breakdown in communication during the festival and Scott had no clue things had gotten dangerous among the concert scores. A member of the team made him aware of what happened hours after the event. They were trying to figure out what was going on. It was hours and hours after the concert when they actually found out the tragedy and how the tragedy unfolded. So wait, well, then what were they trying to figure out what was going on? They were trying to figure out what was going on. It was hours after that they actually found out. Oh, so so you're admitting he knew something was up. I mean, we have we have had video evidence of that. I mean, dude, usually when one person passes out at a concert, a actual performer who has compassion and empathy would whoa 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 stop the song. We've seen Dave Grohl do. We did saw Kurt Cobain do. It. We've seen one of saw what's her name SC SCA the uh, a rapper. She just did it. Hell, we saw uh, Aesop Rocky doing it at Astro World. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let her stop. Crump, get her. Lift her up. Lift her up. 
but he's not responsible. Oh, okay, caught it. So again, how much did he know? And I, I, I got to say, based on the footage I've seen, based on his priors, I, I, I'm sorry, he was irresponsible. And so much of this generation is. Travis didn't fully understand the full effect of everything until the next morning. But uh, who's buying this shit? He didn't know. This guy didn't know. This guy who has multiple times set the tone of his shows to promptly scream, we want rage. This guy didn't know what he was capable of and what he was doing. You're telling me this guy didn't know. Hey, we want rage. We want rage. We want rage. Oh, he's grown from that. That's what the lawyer said on GMA. He's grown. He's, he's grown as a performer. He knows that wasn't good. Dude, he did it in 2019. After already doing it in 2015. When you are a bad person and you don't actually change, it catches up to you. But now with money and people and all the Kardashians in the world, they're out there putting these headlines out so you don't blame him. Now, look, to be fair, he has every right to defend himself. They need to do a proper investigation. That is true. That is factual. However, we got a lot, a lot of evidence in there. And in fact, the, a lot of experts are now admitting, yes, there's a high likelihood he's going to face criminal charges. So because of that, that's why you're going to see these headlines out there defending him and saying he didn't know. That's why we aren't going to see Travis actually be emotional if he really was or is because he's facing criminal charges. If he goes out there and says, uh, you know, admits more, which he's already, he's, they're starting to do by accident. And the more he admits it, the more guilty he is. And the more responsible he is, he's going to go to jail. And I'm sure he and his team don't want to go to jail. But the reality is, yeah, he's, he's going to face some serious charges here. And as a lot of experts, we've, we've talked about it as, we, as we've gone through this now, with especially this, this latest loss that I'm just, it hits me harder. Uh, you know, there's lawsuits. 200 people are now, it went from 100 to 200 people already that are, law, that are doing this lawsuit against him. Um. Who knew what and when are the central determining criminal charges and civil claims? It's possible that production companies, the venue, security companies, municipalities on site to help with the crowd could, have all be share, could all be sharing responsibility. It's reasonable to attend a concert and expect that there will not be a surge in the crowd that will result in injury or death. Facts. Especially for damn kids. Now, we could argue all day why are kids there, but the reality is, as, as I've said, and I've, I, I do think it's a weird place for a kid, that's not the place to talk about this right now. The fact is... To a parent who maybe have been ignorant to how this how this was going to go down, it was advertised for all ages. Now that's another thing we got to talk. That's a separate issue that I hope this tragic loss. God, it makes me so sad. Nine years old. That tragic loss needs to help change the fact that these should not be all age shows. It's just, it's just, it's too much chaos. There's not enough control, and these people are out there for money. They're not out there for safety. So all parents, you need to now check yourself and make sure you're aware of what's app. Double check before you go to an event with your kid because it's just terrible. Now, this could happen anywhere is what's so sad. It could happen at Disneyland, a surge. They put up the fireworks display. Who knows? When I, but, so, but in this instance, when you have a performer, maybe you don't know this, who's literally known for inciting this type of thing in his crowds multiple times. Well, then we know there's a bigger problem. And that, and that, that exactly, his chickered pissed, history here of his previous performance, performance is likely to be a factor as well, including the stamp pad at a 2019 show that had multiple injuries. So he didn't even learn in 2018. After 2018, when he had to plead guilty. And then 2015, he had three, dude, you already had three strikes. You had every opportunity to wise up. Now, you didn't say we want rage this time. We don't, we don't have video of you saying it out loud. But we clearly don't, you know, you, you do not know how to de-escalate. After three instances, you think your team would be like, Travis, yo, if you see a guy on a stretcher, you got to stop the show. Make sure they're okay. Get an, get get someone on a walkie to do it. You're responsible as a performer. Yeah, great. You hire a team, and I understand they're equally as responsible. Don't get me wrong. When I keep saying Travis is responsible, it doesn't mean his team under him isn't also responsible. They're all responsible. That's the That's the hard reality here. And we got to make sure who else knew and who else was really responsible down the, on the lines. But Travis, you, this is your show. You were the perform. You are the only person who could stop that show. You are the only one. 
they're saying, oh, well, there's only two people who could stop a show. Yeah, they're talking about like from a monetarily contract perspective. I'm talking about from a moral compassion perspective of trying to save lives. You're the only person that could have stopped that show. And when I say stop, I actually mean pause. You didn't have to run off stage. You didn't have to turn the lights on and say, thanks for coming. See you later. No, be a damn professional and tell everybody to calm down. You're the, they're there for you. You're the only one who had that power and you didn't do it. And you're admitting, you're now admitting, well, yeah, we knew they were trying to figure out what was going on. It was only hours and hours, notice hours and hours after that we found out the, what happened. You went to Dave and Buster's. You weren't trying to figure out anything, but you're admitting something went on. You were trying to figure something out? Guy, they're, they're doing damage control and they're only making it worse. And I'm sorry. Now when 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 this when we're having victims like this, I dude, it makes me so infuriated. And and there's so much reporting out there that's trying to cover Travis and and, and let him get out, you know, clean. But the reality is, no, you you bear responsibility here too, sir. You absolutely do. And I'm not going to stop. And I know a lot of channels and a lot of people, people on Instagram, social, I'm seeing this story out there. And in fact, if anybody else has evidence of this, where they're sort of taking footage down and they're taking stories down, there's a little bit of a wipe happening right now where there's clearly a big media, whether it's, I don't know. I don't know who owns what, but guys, guys, a lot of stuff happens behind the scenes. It does. It's, this is not conspiracy theory. I have talked to two people who suddenly disappeared off social. Now, these could have been fake people and maybe they shut down. I, I don't know what happened directly, but I know two people directly involved in this show that tried to come on our show that their profiles are gone. So it's imperative that we keep this conversation going. It's imperative we support. And in fact, if you want to support, please, I, I, I don't even know what's going to happen on this platform anymore. I'm going to put my link tree down there in the pinned comment. I'm going to put it in the description. So a bunch of ways you can follow across social, support the channel. Please do, because we got to keep this story going. This is this, this cannot just be dusted away after this. This 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 loss uh, really stings, and I'm trying to keep it together. But Ezra. I, my heart goes out to Ezra's family. Uh, rest in peace. I, it's If you want to try and help monetarily, you can. You can go to his GoFundMe. I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, but this man, this one hits. And uh, this is not, this is like the 10th, the 10th of tragic, preventable incidents. And we have to figure out who's responsible. If you haven't already, please, like I said, make sure you hit the bell for alerts here. Uh, smash the like button, all that stuff to help get this story out there because I'm sure it won't get as widely. Um, please hit the link tree as well to follow me on other platforms so we can get the word out for you as news like this develops uh, that's not getting out there. The, the, the reality is don't let this Travis Scott PR play take the narrative over. He needs to face accountability as well. We need a proper investigation. I don't trust these Houston police at this part. How do we make sure we're getting the answers that we really need to make sure that these lives weren't lost in vain? How do we make sure we hold the people responsible and make proper changes so this never happens again? We'll be live today at 12 p.m. Eastern Center Time. As always, I hope to see you there. Thank you guys so much for joining here on Popcorn Planet.